Hello there and welcome back to my computer. This is Christian and I'm playing around with the Fusion 360. Uh, I am doing to do this thing. See to the left. This is an exercise for uh, another software, not the Fusion software. This is from a question on Reddit where I was a user had a problem to sketch this one. And this is not exactly about this one. This is more general discussion. And I like to put forward some things I use or how I think. Uh, some things to remember is that I'm a hobbyist and an amateur, I'm not a professional with software, so take everything I say with a grain of salt and adapt it to your own workflow. But the main thing I like to put forward is that uh, sketches are not drawing. I have seen some questions lately on Facebook forums, Reddit and other places, where people spend a lot of time trying to make a drawing in sketch. They try to draw every single part of the body they are creating. Uh, and normally the sketch gets really slow, the software gets slow, and they get problems when extruding the bodies and, and other problems like that. So this is going to be a slightly explanation on how I think to create a thing like this. This is just an exercise, it's a true thing, so yeah, it's, it's adapt the dimensions to make it easy to draw, but well, let's do it. So we're going to start the sketch, of course. Start sketch, let's play. Uh, when I look at this thing here, uh, as you can see, we set up a dimension arm where height is 6 millimeters. And looking at this, I can see I can see all the features of a thing from the right direction. We think of this, this as the top direction. So I should do all my sketches on one plane. That's a basic thought. The second thing is I try to not put everything in one sketch. This time I will put all everything in one sketch, but not that many features. It's a basic shape. Uh, but sometimes it's easier to do like a couple of basic things, the, the outer line, outline of a body, want to talk like that, and then cut out things. But this time I will do everything at one time. And the first thing I see, I see a lot of circle, diameter and radius dimensions. I see one, two, three, four, five dimension, but one, two, three, four, Five. Is it rounded out the corners? Yes, so we have five circle dimensions. So let's do that. Let's do circles. One, two, three, four, and five circles like that. What more do we have? We have, yeah, we have a basic symmetry. One, two, three, four, five, six, six spokes here. And we have some knobs that are double. There are 12 of them. So we can use that. Uh, I will split this. You can split this in six parts, but then you have to draw this twice. I think I will split this in 12 parts. So let's do a line. I do a line from center here straight out. Sorry, I want a line. I hit the wrong key. Straight up. And then I do a second line out here. Like that. Uh, more things I need to have. Yes, I want to do this 3.5 later, so I will think I'll stop right now. I have a basic idea I want to do. I need to start as a dimensions because I like to work a bit before I dimension. Sometimes I dimension directly if I'm really strict with things. So if you find that the only thing that's important is that uh, under preferences in Fusion preferences, wait for the software. Under design, I have activated a uh, scale entire sketch at first dimension is on. That's really good because now if I go in here and I add a dimension, let's move over so we can see the numbers. I start with the outmost and it starts with a diameter. I want radius and the radius for outmost is 22.5. As you see, it scales everything down, so it's easier to do, keep on doing dimensions. This one, I did the wrong thing. Let's switch that to remove it. It's easier to do from the beginning. Sorry about that. Dimension, this circle, right click, say I want a radius. And the second radius I have is 22.5. Where are you? There should be one more dimension somewhere. Uh, oh, we have a 24. I did in wrong order. Let's redo that. That one is supposed to be 24. Sometimes we read wrong like most people when we have to fix it. 22.5. And uh, this one, also a radius, was 18.5. Uh, and when we have one on dimension, 
this one also a radius and it's 11.25 11.25 and you do millimeters or inches it doesn't say anything about that and then this last one is a diameter so you're just going to enter 12. when i'm able to write software remove everything and 12. so we have the circles done this is already constrained vertically so we need this one and as i said i'm going to divide it in 12 parts so let's do an angular dimension 360 divided by 12. now we have a lot of things going on here but we need to add the spokes here and i will do all the drawing within these two now as we use this for a pattern later so we do a line it starts from out here and goes through this one this one and it ends here i can do it all the way if i want to do it i like to end it there and then we one here that is just from here to here and but become parallel that's good you have to check somewhere sometimes that they, that it creates the correct uh, constraint in this case these size needs to be parallel to the center side work if we wanted to uh, go into the center part you make a coincident between the line of the center part we don't want this in this case and now what you add to the dimensions we're going to lose use um uh, What's called a diameter dimension this is not this three point five is of course not a diameter but the good thing with that we add hit the d on the keyboard we hit the center line first then this line go up here now we can do 3.5 divided by 2 or we hit right click and says diameter dimension and it adds a ghost line we can add 3.5 so we get the 3.5 dimension as a diameter in front of it can, can be a bit confusing but as you see i get very close so it's easier to go back and see what i'm doing center line first then the line come out right click diameter dimension and 3.5 and by that we have this strange sketch which I can pull down the angle down here instead uh which contains everything i need i don't need i don't need to trim a lot of people start trimming and cutting lines now to make it look perfectly but the good thing here is i'm using very basic geometry circles and lines this is very stable for fusion to calculate there are no problems it knows exactly what i want to do there's no problem to start moving things around so i will be pleased with this i will do finish sketch turn around a bit now we do extrudes it wants it to be six millimeters and we're going to do some fillets and i'm lazy i do not want to click all the edges and the fillets are similar on both sides so i will only extrude the halfway uh, extrude and the extrude part we're going to need this part this part this part a little tab out here this part and this part as you can see i'm doing 112 just half is here and it's going to be three millimeters like that we have started doing some bodies now we are going to turn on the check our sketches yes it's fully defined i forget to look at that the old check for lock but everything is defined turn off for sketch uh, we're going to do some fillets i hit the s key start typing fillets and get the command started uh, let's see it's going to be 0 0.5 for the small edges and one for that long one so Let's do that. This is, I think, this is the top side now. So this edge, this edge, and uh, that one, uh, that one, that one, that one was 0 0.5. I hit the plus sign down here. So add a selection set and select uh, this, uh, this, and uh, this one. And tell Fusion, I want those to be one. That looks wrong so i think i'll do, do the first one i like to add i think they are done this design is not a bit hard to see what they are doing really and everything so let's see what this ends up with does that look more correct it goes down and up that looks really not that correct either i think there are some problems in this sketch it might be done in other software but it looks yeah it bends out like that so we can do that sometimes when you get some fleets you do not get all the information you have to guess some things hit okay and we're going to do a mirror 
what the seven missing things remember that there are a lot of exercises on the youtube or on files you can download that are missing information the first mirror i'm going to make is to add the, the other side of thickness i'm um, the, the bodies underside and an operation join remember you can have new body or join be careful what you choose this is a bit new one like that we're going to do a mirror again this body and now we're going to choose this plane and we have done and if we go back to this we have now done one six of the body we need to do so we're going to do circular pattern of bodies this body around we can choose the axis or very simply choose a round edge it will define that as the axis you want we need six of those wait for fusion to think for a while i'm just going to mark everything hit the combine tool up here i did a window select up here if you happen to uh, you have fast selection with one two three sometimes i by mistake hit one two three and it changes so up here you can change the window selection free from or paint selection i prefer window as that's the most used one in most software let's do it again all of it combine and okay and by doing that we have now got one body so this is created from this slightly strange sketch but very stable sketch into the body we wanted with everything set so uh, i hope it's useful for some of you this is the best exercise i will if you want to leave a comment if you want me to share more things on how i look at things and how i solve things and as always there are basic things we need to do when we design but some things are personal references so with that i like to say take care see you around and goodbye